thank you for coming to the 48th edition of the Miami International Auto Show. We missed you all last year. We couldn't make it. Thanks very much. But we're here. And the good news is we're here in a new house. As you can see, the Miami Beach Convention Center is a wonderful venue. It has been always a wonderful venue, but it's even more improved and better for having a, an event like the Auto Show, like the, like the Miami International Auto Show. I would like to give a special welcome to our friends from out of uh, Miami. Thank you for coming once again. It is a pleasure having so many friends from other cities and uh, you know there is always something interesting happening happening in Miami especially in South Beach but this event is always becoming a great opportunity to showcase more and more vehicles from different manufacturers so the Miami International Auto Show is gaining more and more attention from the rest of the country and, that, and that's wonderful uh, it is a pleasure for me to introduce the person responsible for this growth of the Miami International Auto Show. The president of the South Florida Automotive Dealers Association, Mr. Rick Baker. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, and welcome here to our 48th edition, as you said. We didn't have a show last year, and if you remember two years ago, we had to fight Zika, that nasty disease. So we've had a rough couple of years. And I hope you had a jam-packed morning this morning. Hopefully everybody enjoyed themselves. We have Ram, Lexus, Mopar, Ford, Nissan, and Toyota. And there's more this afternoon with Chevrolet and Rudis ESPN hosting conferences and Toyota reception at the Betsy Hotel. Right, John? Betsy Hotel? Uh, I hope you enjoyed your experience here. It's a beautiful building here. And this, finally, after three years, they're, well, it's 99% done. They've still got some finishing touches they're doing. But I'd like to thank our friends at SAMA. We've had a great relationship with them for all these years. And for again presenting this luncheon, and our relationship with Sam goes way back many, many years. And uh, I'll, of course, a special thanks to Volkswagen for, of course, paying the bill. Thank you very much, Volkswagen. Thank you, so thank you, Sam. Thank you very much. And uh, for us at Sama, it's been a real pleasure to organize this luncheon every year and invite so many friends from not only our association, but also from the manufacturers and from other cities in the country. The Southern Automotive Media Association is, uh, we're very proud of our association, we're very proud of our members, we're very proud of our um, events, not only this luncheon every year at the Miami International Auto Show, but also our rides and smiles that is coming back next year, our topless in Miami, it is which has become a, a, a very important competition of convertibles, the most important competition of uh, convertibles in the country. But we couldn't do this without our sponsors. <coughs> and at this time, we have the privilege of having, sponsoring this luncheon, our friends from Volkswagen. Mr. William Gark is the product communication senior specialist, and he represents Volkswagen of America this afternoon. and thank you for coming to the media day of the 2018 Miami Auto Show. My name is William Gock, and on behalf of Volkswagen of America and Sama, I'd like to welcome you to the most anticipated event of the day, lunch. <laughs> so, I'm not going to take up too much of your time, though let me tell you how happy I am to be here representing the Volkswagen brand. The past two years have been an exciting time for us. Our Atlas and Next Generation Tiguan have made us a player in the SUV game, and our all-new Jetta is an incredible value story that is getting a fantastic welcome. And that's thanks in no small part to many, the work that many of you in this room right here do. On that, I'd like to thank all of the media here today. Whether you're a print or digital, whether you're a YouTuber or an Instagrammer, you all play an important role in this business. And I think I can speak for all of us on the OEM side when I tell you how very much we appreciate the work that you do. In closing, let's give a round of applause to the city of Miami for being a gracious host 
and making all of our colleagues that aren't here a little bit jealous of us today. Thank you. Williams and Bright. So let's get to the most anticipated event of the day. Well done. Lunch. Thank you. Mr. Marcelo Serrato, our treasurer, and Mr. Eduardo Hapke, our secretary. I would like to introduce Mr. Paul Borden, our vice president, and uh, the SAMA Awards for 2018. Hello. Fortunately for you, I don't have much really to say here now because I'm going to turn it over to the gentleman who was in charge of our judging and really did a lot of preparatory work for our awards this year, and I think that you're going to like that, Mr. Juan Robin. Hello. Excuse me, it's Juan G. Robin. I'm in. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Hello, everybody. Uh, this year, I've been tasked to be the head of the judges for Coffee. the awards. Coffee. And I thought about it, and I think it's very important to present an award that represents Miami, represents the brand, represents the auto show. Um, I would like to call the other judges up. Jonathan Brownfield, Jose Carlos Demier, Tony Lassane, and Joaquin Ruiz. So the way that we did this, we had voting until we could come up with four out of the five judges having the, um, the total. So we did some spirited rounds. We actually had some good discussion and uh, we came up with, I think, a pretty good selection for the five categories. The five categories were the pickup car, which includes the sedan, GT, and sport, the eco, SUV, and star the show. So, first one, pickup. We would like to present the award to the Ford Ranger. The runners up for the pickup award were the Ram 1500 and GMC Sierra Denali. It was a very tough decision. I'm new at this. <laughs> well, no, actually, just thank you very much. Uh, Ranger is an important truck for us, and we are really uh, grateful for this opportunity and for this award. So thank you. Thank you, Alba. All right, next category is the car, which is the sedan GT and sports. And the winner in that category is the Nissan Altima. Yes, Steve, come on up. Surprise? talked about it today at our news conference um, with the variable compression engine, but it's, uh, it's our flagship. It's, you know, it's been around a long time and we're excited about its potential. And, and thank you very much for this. This means a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Congratulations, Steve. Thank you, Juan. Uh, the next award is the Eco Award. Tough category as well. Quite interesting cars out there. And the winner is the Jaguar I-Pace. And to uh, receive the award will be Tony Serrato from Prestige. <laughs> On behalf of Jaguar, I wanna thank Sama for the awesome job they do and for the great award. Thank you. 
Next award is the SUV. Um, this was really a tough one as well. Uh, we actually spend most of our time deliberating here, and the winner for the SUV category goes to the Jeep Wrangler. Thank you very much. Gracias. Um, Jeep Wrangler it, Jeep is an icon not only for our brand, but we also like to think about uh, for the whole industry, and we are very pleased to receive this award. Thank you very much, and enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. The last award is the star of the show. This is a a difficult award because we weren't sure whether we were going to have a concept car or a star of the show. And um, we found one and I think it was unanimous. It's the Genesis Essentia concept car. Well, thank you, Samuel. Thank you, Miami. Uh, this is certainly a prestigious award. It's humbling for us as well as uh, such a young brand with Genesis, but the Essentia represents everything that we are uh, and who we are at our DNA at Genesis Motor America. And we derive a lot of that from what we have here in Miami. Miami is the largest market for Genesis as a brand. And we derive a lot of uh, what you have here in terms of the performance culture, the art culture, and the design culture. So thank you, Summer, again, and thank you, Miami. So on behalf of Sama, we would like to present you each one of the judges tokens. And the first one goes to Joaquin Rui. Thank you very much. As a newbie juror, it was an honor and an enjoyable experience. And I thank you for the opportunity. Another newbie this year is Jonathan Brownfield. Thank you very much. It was quite the honor. Thank you. Third one, and I learned to say the name correctly, is Tony the Saint. <laughs> it was um, highly organized, lots of fun. These guys were amazing, and they thought it through wonderfully, so it was an exciting experience. Thank you. We also have Jose Carlos de Med. Thank you, thank you. I want to thank all the um, automakers to be here, to do an effort uh, to bring things that are interesting. Our colleagues from outside of Florida that uh, came over this year before, after Irma visited us last year in 2017, and of course, to the organization of the show. It is an amazing show. I expect the best 
for this year and for the years to come. And uh, gracias a todos. This is the hammer. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Y obviamente para Juan Robin también con nuestros agradecimientos por Mr. Juan Robin with our Thank you very very much. And our next recognition has a very special value for all of us at SAMA. And uh, if I can have your attention, please. This next award has a very special value for all of us at SAMA, and for me especially. It is the Ron Beasley Memorial Award. That's As cool. all of us at SAMA know, Ron Beasley was fundamental for the creation of this association and for its growth at the beginning. He was a person who really invited all of us personally to be part of his. His leadership was fundamental for the creation and for the growth, the initial growth of our association. We wouldn't be here without Mr. Ron Beasley. So this is the 2018 Ron Beasley Memorial Award. It's the first time that we present this award to a friend of Sam for continued support of the Southern Automotive Media Association and its programs and activities throughout the years. The recipient of the 2018 Ron Beasley Memorial Award it's Mr. Ariel Garcia Linares. It really is uh, something to look forward to and look up to. Um, I've been around this organization since Ron Beasley created it. Um, all our colleagues here have become friends now. That we're not just colleagues, we're not just work colleagues. Um, it's really truly a family. And I don't, I, I'm, I'm still shocked. I, I, I'm honored to receive this. I, Miami is very personal to me. The Miami Auto Show is very personal to me. And of course, Sam is very personal to me. It's not only our city, but we really wanna make Sam an important organization that really reflects the true values of the automotive industry, but also puts Florida on. on. Before I announce the uh, 2018 winner, I wanna recognize Bill Adam. Bill was last year's winner, but as has been mentioned before, we did not have a luncheon last year. He was recognized at the holiday party, so anybody who was there, I thought I'd mention him. Bill, stand up. Bravo. <laughs> this next recipient, uh, as I mentioned, has done a very supportive of that, uh, has done a lot of work regarding this show and uh, just has always been there when we when Sam has needed something. Basically volunteered for anything and, and attended up breakfast meetings and various discussions. He's, he's always there, he's very well and the most willing person that we have. I'd like to think that uh, Sam is a participant uh, activity, not necessarily a spectator activity and this person is a the epitome of the participant. 
Mr. Juan G. Robin. Surprise, thank you everybody. This is really cool. You know, I wanted to share a story, and that is cars for me have been a passion all my life. And to be able to enjoy this, not only enjoy it, but to share and learn with everybody that is here in this room is a true, true joy. And I want to thank you all for making it possible. So thank you again. Okay, we have our next press conference with Chevrolet at 1.30 p.m. Please enjoy the end of your lunch, your dessert, your coffee. And once again, thank you for coming, thank you for being part of this, and thank you for supporting the, uh, the Miami International Auto Show and the Southern Automotive Media Association. Thanks again to Volkswagen for the sponsorship of this event.